Cordero okay. Patterson or Tyler Algier. And it is Algier, not Allgaier. It, it looks like Allgaier. I'm probably going to call him Allgaier. I don't care that it's pronounced Algier. Um, <laughs> so, Jason, you're trying to... I, I, uh, we, oh, what do we do? Like our first podcast that we did, we did, uh, CEH versus, uh, Keyshawn Keyshawn Vaughn, Vaughn, who's and they just both been suck. Freaking, <laughs> yeah. Right. Like the answer to that is neither. Honestly, <laughs> either it's like, which rookie running back do you want to draft? Hashtag that r- draft just sucked for running backs bad all right so uh when it comes to the atlanta running backs they so they drafted all all year and they have cordero patterson from last year cordero patterson is 31 he was running back seven through the first 14 weeks last year at 30 years old after doing nothing the first i don't know eight years that he was in the league punt returner kick returner Random situational running back for the Bears, for the Patriots. And now he's 31. And he's going as running back 32 in drafts. But he was really good last year. Running back seven until like the Falcons um, were, were never more. I know that's the Raven. Sorry. But like, I, I just don't, I don't understand quite the disrespect that, that, people have for him. We have him down at 30, but, uh, he finishes RB eight last year. He's going as running back 30. The coaching staff hasn't changed. Marcus Mariota. I don't know. Sucks. Getting another shot. He Sucks. might. Yeah. But this is the absolute floor for Cordero Patterson. I think unless they don't use him at all, which I guess is theoretically possible, but he was all over the field last year for them. Okay. Uh, I mean, he's 31. I, on, an, on a bad team that should be planning for the future. Well, it's a bad team that, that got worse. Like, sure, they added Drake London, but you lost a top, like, 15, top 10, top 15 in talent, not fantasy, but in football talent. I think there's a case for Matt Ryan in the top 10. Um, but no, I thought, I thought you were going to say Calvin Ridley. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you were going quarterback there. No, I was going quarterback. They lost, they lost Matt Ryan. Like you had Drake they London. Did. Sure. There's another weapon on offense, but like Matt Ryan was the one checking the ball down. Matt Ryan Ky- is the Kyle one. Kyle Pitts had, had a real nice catch from Mariota over the weekend on, on just a straight go route. So maybe the offense will be better than you think it will be. Maybe I'm just the it's, it's not, it's not those kinds of throws it's for running backs. And I think Patterson's going to play a very healthy amount at running back because I don't think they're just going to automatically turn the keys over to Tyler Algier week one. Um, But I don't think Mariota is necessarily the, the check down machine that Matt Ryan was keep the chains moving. Um, and I, I don't think they were really checking down to Cordero. He was out running wide receiver routes in addition to being a, a running back. Well, he was. I'm just not convinced that any of that is Mariota's game because I'm not convinced that football is really Marcus Mariota's game. Like, oh, God, you're so disrespectful sometimes. Dude, he's, he's fine. He had one job when he was in Tennessee, and that was to hand the ball off to Derrick Henry, and he couldn't do that right. Got him to the playoffs. <laughs> and they traded his ass. I believe he's one of two quarterbacks that have ever thrown a touchdown to himself in the <laughs> in the playoffs. <laughs> that has to count for something. <laughs> yeah. And I was really bad at home ec in high school, man. Let's just talk about shit that doesn't matter. <laughs> now you're great at doing the dishes. <laughs> like, I just... If it was Desmond Ritter, I would be a lot more hyped for this offense as a whole. Ritter's actually looks good, and he had a good game over the 
over the weekend. Granted, you, it's you backups against love backups. rookies. I you like love rookies. rookies. I'm optimistic. I'm a glass half full guy. I like opportunity. I don't like dudes that underachieved and have been perennial letdowns since they've been in the, the NFL. I, I'm, I, they don't get me hyped about the team. All I'm drafting these people for is the value that they represent because they're starters on crappy teams. Like, welcome to fantasy football. The best guys and the best teams go in the first round and the, like the first five rounds. After that, it's like, well, I guess you're a starter. Well, I guess you're a starter. Hence the disrespect to both of these dudes where Cordero Patterson is being ranked in the thirties, regardless of him starting as a, or finishing as a top 10 running back because it's like, well, he was, and you lost Matt Ryan. How bad is this going to be? Yeah. So theoretically the answer is don't draft either of them because the offense is going to suck and they're not going to score. If, 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 (laughs) if you do draft one of them, I like the value of Algier. He's free. I've dra- I'm drafting him literally in the last round of every of every mock. He is free. He has the potential to be the starting running back. He averaged more than 130 rushing yards per game while in college. He had 36 rushing touchdowns in two years, which is an obscene number. Uh, he caught 30 balls last season. So he has a little bit of catching chops himself. Um if he gets well, only, featured, only four there's running so backs much with over value. 150 carries and 69 targets last year, and one of them was Cordero Patterson. So yeah, but if he plays receiver this season, like you're just effed. Maybe <sighs> same coaching staff. Yeah. Hey, hey, I neither of us thought Cordero Patterson was a thing, even when he was a thing. So, yeah, we were all we're, we're, you and I were looking at you like, when's the bottom fallout? You know, <laughs> do I plug him in again? It's been four weeks. Do I like, plug him in for <laughs> when when you were on vacation and I was doing the, the waiver show by myself and I was like, ah, oh, you don't have to worry about this. This isn't going to continue. <laughs> like I watched this by in the Chicago last sheet. couple of years. Like this doesn't matter. Uh, turns Whoops. out he's a bell cow. Turns out. Yeah. Until he got hurt. So we, we don't really like this backfield overall. Um, if, if you're going to take a dart throw, I'm fine with Algier. But uh, yeah, I, uh, it, it's hard to take either. It, it's hard to take Cordero with confidence, but that's why he's going as running back 30 in drafts. And you're not paying for that RB8 upside last year. No. At all. No. Uh, 